Hi guys, this is Abhi from Engineering Master. Welcome to the another episode of Engineering Master. In this video, we are dealing about capacitor banks. We will see what is capacitor banks, purpose of capacitor banks and capacitor bank calculations. What is a capacitor bank? A capacitor bank is the collection of multiple capacitors used to store electrical energy and enhance functionality of electrical power systems. What is the purpose of capacitor bank? Normally, in low voltage applications or in power systems, capacitor used to improve the power factor or it is used for power factor correction. To understand this, we need to know what is power factor and the importance of power factor. The power factor is defined as the ratio of active power or true power to the apparent power. We can understand this in a simple way. This is called beer and mug analogy. Let's consider a mug of beer. In this, the true beer content that represents active power. The foam represents reactive power. The total content active power plus reactive power or beer plus foam represents apparent power. So power factor is defined as beer divided by beer plus foam or active power divided by apparent power. From this equation you can see the quantity of foam is low then the true beer content will be increased. The value of money will be increased. Let's consider a motor. The input power of a motor is called apparent power. The output power, the power which is used to done the usable work, it is called active power. All the input power will not be converted into output. There will be some waste power or worthless power. It is called reactive power. This power is used for the creation of magnetic field and other purpose in inductive loads. The power factor is designed as active power divided by apparent power. Active power is what? Output power. Apparent power is what? Input power. Output divided by input. What is output divided by input? Output divided by input is efficiency. So we can say power factor is the efficiency of an electrical load. So power factor improvement or power factor correction means we are improving the efficiency of systems. Where is it installed? Normally in LV side, it is connected to main distribution board or LV panel through a circuit breaker. It comes as a separate unit. So there will be an LV panel or MDB, main distribution board. Besides that, capacitor bank installed as a separate unit and MDB is connected to the capacitor bank through a circuit breaker and cables. This is the LV panel for one of my earlier projects. You can see the capacitor bank is connected to the LV panel through 1000 ampere TPMCCB and a cable. So capacitor bank installed near to the LV panel and it is connected to LV panel through a cable and circuit breaker. Let's learn capacitor bank sizing. Calculate the capacitor bank sizing for a building with three phase load of 300 kilowatt. This is a practical scenario, right? You have a building with 300 kilowatt or you have a LV panel with 300 kilowatt. Let's solve this problem. So our load is 300 kilowatt. Then available power factor. If it is not specified, you consider as 0.8. If it's specified, then please use that power factor. In our scenario, it is not specified. So I am assuming available power factor is 0.8. Then required power factor. Anything between 0 0.95 to 1 is considered as good power factor. So required power factor we can say is 0 0.95. So we are lifting the power factor from 0 0.8 to 0 0.95. Then cos phi 1. Cos phi 1. You know cos phi is the power factor. The available power factor cos phi 1 equal to 0 0.8. Cos phi 2. The required power factor cos phi 2 equal to 0 0.95. From this we have to calculate phi 1 and phi 2. Phi 1 is cos inverse 0 0.8 that is 36.86. Phi 2 is cos inverse 0 0.95 that is 18.19. Then required KVAR, required capacitor bank size equal to load in kilowatt into tan phi 1 minus tan phi 2 that is the equation. We got phi 1 and phi 2. Then just substitute these values. Load in kilowatt equal to 300 into tan phi 1 that is tan 36.86 minus tan phi 2 tan 18.19. Then our equation will be 300 into tan 36.86 is 0.75. Tan 18.19 is 0.329. Then our answer will be 126.395 kVAR. So our required capacitor bank calculation from lifting power factor from 0 0.8 to 0 0.95 with a load of 300 kilowatt is 126.395 kVAR. This itself is enough. As an MEP designer or electrical designer, this sizing is enough. Just provide this sizing to the capacitor bank manufacturer. They will make the capacitor bank according to this. But if you want to learn more, we know the SI unit of capacitance is farad, right? So we need capacitance in farad. The equation for this is required capacitance in farad equal to QC. QC is required kVAR. 
divided by phase voltage square. Phase voltage we know 230 volt in normal scenarios or India. Phase voltage square into 2 into pi. The value of pi is 3.14 into f. f is frequency. If you are substituting values in this equation, qc. qc equal to 123.395 into 1000. kvr we are converting to var divided by phase voltage square 230 into 230 into 2. Pi, value of pi is 3.14 into frequency 50. The answer will be 0.0076928 farad. If you are converting this into microfarad into 10 raised to minus 6, the answer will be 7609.28 microfarad. So our building capacitor bank size is 7609.28 microfarad. To make the calculation easier, I have prepared an excel sheet for you. In that, phase voltage, it is specified 230 volt. If your phase voltage is different, you can specify in that column. Then load in kilowatt, we have to enter our load in kilowatt. Existing power factor, our existing power factor, I am considering as 0 0.8. Then required power factor, 0 0.95. We are lifting 0 0.8 to 0 0.95. If you are entering the load, we will get kvar and microfarads. If your existing power factor is different, for example, existing power factor I am changing from 0 0.8 to 0 0.9, then all the values will be changed automatically. I will provide the download link in the description. You can download it from there. This will help you to make the calculation in faster way. Let's solve one more problem. Calculate the capacitor bank sizing for a building with three-phase load of 500 kilowatt. Our load is 500 kilowatt. Available power factor, existing power factor is 0 0.8. Then required power factor is 0 0.95. We are lifting power factor from 0 0.8 to 0 0.95. Cos 51 available power factor is 0 0.8. Cos 52 required power factor is 0 0.95. From this, we will get 51 and 52. 51 is cos inverse 0 0.8, that is 36.86. 52 is cos inverse 0 0.95, that is 18.19. Then required capacitor bank sizing, required KVAR equal to load in kilowatt into tan 51 that is tan 36.86 minus tan 52 tan 18.19 that will be 500 into tan 36.86 is 0 0.75 tan 18.19 is 0 0.329 so our final value is required kvar equal to 210.65 kvar again if you want to know the capacitance in microfarad or farad then use this equation Required capacitance equal to QC. QC is required KVAR divided by phase voltage square into 2 into pi. The value of pi is 3.14 into frequency. So if you are substituting these values, QC equal to 210.65 into 1000 divided by phase voltage square 230 into 230 into 2 into the value of pi is 3.14. Frequency is 50 hertz. And I am converting directly into microfarad 10 raised to minus 6. The answer will be 12628.1 microfarad. To make the calculation easier, I have prepared an excel sheet for you. In that, phase voltage, it is specified 230 volt. Existing power factor is 0 0.8. Then required power factor is 0 0.95. Tan 51 and tan 52 will come automatically. Just enter the load. Load is 500 kilowatt. You will get the KVAR microfarad. KVAR is 210.65. Microfarad is 12682.1. This will help you to do the calculation in faster ways. That's it guys. I think you got a fair idea about capacitor bank and capacitor bank sizing. See you in the next video. Bye bye.